Hello and welcome to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. Today we're taking a look at an upcoming free-to-play game called Scarlet Blade. It's from Area Games. You can download Area Ignite. It's currently in the closed beta. Should be coming out for more open beta in the near future. It is a sci-fi shooter style RPG. You can see the different classes. Uh, the one that this one right here is probably the one I'm going to pick. It's the Range DPS, so the most mage ish style, which is usually my drug of choice for RPGs. Another thing you'll notice is it looks like they're only female characters, so I don't know if there's a lore to the game and maybe it's only female, or if it's just kind of fan service graphics showing off lots of, well, TNA. But that's just, I couldn't actually figure it out. I never saw a male character, so I think that's just part of the, the game and the world. You can see character creation. Decent amount of depth for for, for uh, a free-to-play game. It's obviously not going to be uh, Age of Conan or something that's just got... You can spend an hour customizing every little thing. You can, see you can change your hair. You can change your style. You can change your clothing. And let's go ahead and look at the gameplay itself. Alright, so we're in-game. This is the quest system. Quests will drop sort of for you right above your chat log. So you don't actually have to go to talk to an NPC or anything like that. No going to the nearest hub town and telling some guy I brought you your bear pelts. It's not voice acted, but you do have kind of mini cutscenes when you're getting new quests. And this is going to be an Asian style MMO, so we're going to have that very anime style of graphics. The first couple of quests are basically just be running around in circles doing missions like that. So there you saw that little exclamation point is where you grab a new quest. It does have an auto track system, so it will auto travel to you when you push the location. It will not open up a dialogue box for you. It will not initiate combat for you. So it doesn't play the game for you. It'll just take you where you're going. Your character starts with three basic abilities and your... I believe... No, you don't get your weapon. You'll get all your equipment through your quest, so you won't have any weapons. You won't have any gear, you'll have your underwear, that's about it. As you can see right here we're getting, yep, your underwear. So right now we're getting these quests done, we're talking to NPCs, basically doing fetch quests for now, and then after that we're going to start getting our equipment, and I want to show some of the combat off, so I'm going to skip these fetch quests. Alright, so we're done with our basics, we got our weapon, big old sniper rifle style gun, and I still have my three attacks. I haven't gained any levels yet, but my XP bar's at the bottom. So I'm about two-thirds of the way to level two. And here are the mobs. You do lock on target, and you'll use abilities. So it's going to have a, kind of a WoW-style attacks. There we go. So it might be a third-person shooter, but it does have more of a fantasy RPG style. Even just the, the sci-fi setting. So you can see I just finished the quest. So you'll even finish quests here. The only time you go talk to an NPC is if it's part of your quest. Usually those will just kind of take you to a new area. You can see i got to kill some of the different beetles. My one is my basic attack. My Right now my three actually... No, my two hits harder than my three. I think two will one-shot these guys and I'll have to do three one to kill the other. And since there's a bit of a cooldown on your attacks, you kind of cycle through them. There's also a skill tree, which you can level up things, get new passive skills, level up your attacks, unlock new attacks. So, pretty in-depth system. It's I wouldn't say it's anything revolutionary, it's a lot like any other MMO out there, but the gameplay-wise, it's pretty decent. It reminds me of a lot of other games, and doesn't the combat seems pretty crisp. I push a button and an ability happens. That's one of the big things about WoW. It's... You, you push a button and your abilities happen. There doesn't seem to be any sort of major issues, which a lot of times that can be as important as anything else in an MMO or any other game for that matter. Like, I think a lot of people have issues with Diablo 3, but the smoothness of the combat is one of those selling points for that, that's keeping that game going, other than, obviously, the Blizzard name. But honestly, it, the gameplay is smooth and it works well, the graphic style maybe not my my favorite. I'm not really into the Asian style graphics, but it seems like it the world looks the world looks pretty decent. It reminds me a little bit of a lower fidelity version of I almost say Ion. 
But this is a pretty decent looking free to play game. It's currently in alpha and closed beta. It should be going in alpha, open beta soon. Go check it out in the Area Ignite website. Stay tuned to more from this game, and thanks for watching. And stay tuned to more from MMO Play. I'm going to go ahead and level up some of my skills.